Hello students, I am Bani, your English facilitator at Learn Forward by FeatherCab and today we will be discussing the chapter The Cub. Now this chapter highlights the father-son relationship and the importance of a father in a child's life and how a father is equivalent to a child's hero no matter a boy or a girl. The father is always a child's hero. Always someone whom we look up to, always someone who we, you know, always respect and love, no matter what. The story is about the relationship between a child and his or her parents. For a child, his or her life revolves around his or her parents. There is to total dependence on and hero worship of the guardians. Now, no matter uh, if we have our parents or if we have somebody else we look up to, we hero worship them. We worship them like our gods. Gradually, however, as the child grows, the relationship changes. But the as as the child grows and you know uh, the childish phase uh, that that doesn't last for long, and we go into being adolescents or teenagers, and then we become adults. So the relationship between the uh, child and the parents or the guardians it changes. The hero worship changes, but the respect and that, and the love it never changes. It never fades away, but the love remains. The heartwarming story tells us how. So let us start. One of his first memories was of his father bending down from the great height to sweep him up uh, into his ear. So uh, this. ये ना एक बच्चे के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से पूरा चैप्टर पढ़ाया जा रहा है तो सबसे पहली जो मेमोरी थी ना उस बच्चे की वो ये थी कि उसके पापा उसको ऐसे ऊपर उछाल रहे हैं एंड ऊपर उछाल के पकड़ रहे हैं सो ही वेंट अप ऊपर बिल्कुल ऊपर मतलब अपने सास को फुलाते हुए और हंसते हुए बहुत खुशी से ऊपर जाता है वो बच्चा अब क्या होता है जब वेन वी आर किड्स वेन वी आर किड्स और वेन वी सी आर सिबलिंग्स जो अभी छोटे हैं या फिर हमने किसी के किसी बच्चे को तो देखा दे ट्रस्ट देयर पेरेंट्स सो मच कि अगर वो उनको उछाल रहे हैं तो दे नो कि वो अपने पेरेंट्स के हाथ में ही लैंड करेंगे दैट देयर पेरेंट्स विल नेवर लेट देम फॉल सो आप ही वेन गैसपिंग एंड लाफिंग विद डिलाइट ही कुड लुक डाउन ऑन इस मदर्स अपटर्न फेस तो वो नीचे जब देख रहा था ना ऊपर से तो उसकी मम्मी का ऐसा फेस दिखता है उसको एंड as she watched laughing with them and at the thick stalk of his father's brown hair and at his white teeth to wo jab dekhta hai to wo dekhta hai ki uski mummy aise upar dekh ke apne husband ko dekh ke hans rahi hain unke sath khel rahi hain apne bete aur apne husband ke sath then he would come down shrieking happily but he was never afraid to wo jab niche aata hai na upar se aise wo chalta hua niche aata hai so he is never afraid because he knows that his father will never let him uh, fall not with his father's hands holding him no one in the world was as strong or as wise as his father so for a child there is nobody in the world who is as strong or as wise or as intelligent as their uh, parents he remember he remembered a time when his father moved the piano across the room for his mother to usko yaad aata hai ki uske papa ne ek bar piano ko itna bhari bharkam piano ko room ke dusre kinare tak shift kiya tha apni mummy uski mummy ke liye us bachche ki mummy ke liye apni wife ke liye he watched while she guided it into a new position and he saw अब वो देखता है कि उसकी मम्मी ने बोला कि आप यहाँ से उठा के यहाँ पे रख दो एंड वो देखता है उन दोनों के हैंड्स में डिफरेंस अपनी मम्मी के भी अपने फादर के भी डिफरेंस इन देर हैंड्स एज दे रेस्टेड साइड बाय साइड अपॉन द ग्लीमिंग वॉलनट हिज मदर्स हैंड वॉज वाइट एंड स्लिम एंड डेलीकेट उसकी मम्मी का जो हाथ था इट वॉज वाइट इट वॉज वेरी वुमेनली इट वॉज वेरी सॉफ्ट इट वॉज स्लिम एंड डेलीकेट वाइल इज फादर्स हैंड वॉज लार्ज एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड स्क्वेर एज ई ग्रू ही लर्न टू प्ले बेयर अब ना प्ले बेयर मतलब उनको उनको कुश्ती लड़नी आ गई थी वेन इट वॉज टाइम फॉर इज फादर टू कम होम एट नाइट ही वुड लर्क बिहाइंड द सॉरी बेयर का मतलब है कि ही यूज टू हाइड बिहाइंड दी कर्टन एंड जब उसके पापा घर आते थे तो वो उसको मिलते थे तो एकदम से वो उनको धप्पा कर देता था सो एज ही ग्रू ही लर्न हाउ टू प्ले बेयर when it was uh, time for his father to come home at night he would lurk behind the kitchen door to jab uske papa raat ko kaam se ghar aate the wo kitchen ke door ke piche chhup jata tha when he heard the closing of the garage door to jab uske papa garage mein apni uh, apne vehicle ko khada karke andar aate the ghar mein he would hold his breath and squeeze himself into the crack behind the door so he used to hide beneath the crack of the door and when his father used to come inside he used to you know uh, surprise him ki ye dekho main aa gaya then he would be quiet it was always the same his father would open the door stand there and ask where's the boy 
वो उसके पापा गेट खोलते थे एंड उसके पापा को पता होता था कि रोज़ वो वहीं पर छुपा होगा बट उसके पापा पूछते थे कि वो खाएं मेरा बेटा खाएं एंड ही वुड ग्लैंस एट दी स्माइल ऑन इस मदर्स फेस और अपनी मम्मी की फेस की स्माइल देखता था एंड देन ही वुड लीप आउट एंड ग्रैप इस फादर राउंड नीज वो छोटा था बहुत हाइट में तो अपनी अपने पापा की नीज को पकड़ लेता था बहुत टाइटली एंड वुड लुक डाउन एंड शाउट और उसके पापा नीचे देखते थे और चीखते थे वॉज दिस अर यंग कब ऐसे करके मजाक करते थे then no matter how tightly he tried to cling he was lifted up and perched upon uh, his father's shoulders and they would now no matter how uh, hard he tried to cling to his father's knees wo itna bhari to tha nahi ki uske papa usko utha na paye so his father used to lift him up and keep him on his shoulders and um, then he they both used to march past his mother and together they would duck their heads beneath the doors and jab wo dusre room mein ghuste the to apne sir ko aise niche karke ghuste the because ke father he was already tall and apne bacche ko upar bitha ke so apne dono sir ko niche karke kisi door ke andar se nikal jate the now and then he went to school and on the playground he learned how to wrestle and shout and how to hold back tears now when he went to school he changed he changed as a person because he grew up his childish uh, self was uh, now not in him anymore and he grew up and on the playground he learned how to wrestle he learned wrestling and he learned how to be a man he learned how to shout and he also learned how to control his feelings and how to control his tears he grew taller slimmer and stronger he was like a young buck with tiny new horns young buck ka matlab hai ek uh, animal with the horns matlab deers wagera ho gaye jaise he wanted to lock them with any other bunk, young uh, young buck so matlab because he was warm blooded matlab ek ek uh, bachcha jo bada ho raha hai he has you know a lot of uh, energy enthusiasm so usko aur koi bhi bachcha dikhta tha na ye bhidne ko taiyar ho jata tha he wanted to fight and he wanted to show his strength off to everybody to test them in combat to test them in combat matlab in war usse ladke dekhna chahta tha he measured his biceps with his mother's uh, tapes measure apne biceps ko na apni mummy ki tape ke measure se aise bar bar uh, napta rehta tha exultantly exultantly bahut excitedly he thrust his arm in front of his father ek bar apne uh, biceps ko flex karke apne na father ke samne rakhta hai aur bolta hai feel that how's that for a muscle to bolta hai ki ab aap meri muscles dekho papa how do you like them his father put his great thumb into the flag muscle uske papa uski muscle mein aise thumb ghusate hain and usko pierce kar dete hain press kar dete hain and press and the boy pulled back protesting laughing ouch bahut tez bahut tez press karte hain sometimes they wrestled on the floor together and his mother moved the chairs back so you know his father was always a very uh, jolly personality and they used to enjoy together they used to uh, they used to you know play together wrestle together and uski mummy chairs piche kar deti thi because wo log wrestle karte the be careful charles ab charles uske papa ka naam tha don't hurt him to uski jo mummy thi wo bar bar bolti thi apne husband ko ki aap please dhyan se karo usko lag na jaye after a while apne husband ko bolti thi ki unke bachcho ko unke bacche ko na lag jaye after a while his father would push him aside and sit in his chair और कुछ टाइम बाद उसके पापा उसको धक्का दे देते थे और चेयर में बैठ जाते थे सो ही वॉज द विनर हिज लॉन्ग लेग्स थ्रस्ट आउट बिफोर एवन द बॉय वुड स्क्रैम्बल टू हिस्स पीट हाफ रिजेंटफुल हाफ मर्सफुल और द ईज विद विच ही हिज फादर मास्टर डिम सो हिज फादर वॉज ऑलवेज द विनर ही ऑलवेज इमर्ज एज द विनर उसके पापा उस पॉइंट तक ठीक है और उसके पापा हमेशा उसे जीत जाते थे डैट समे ही वुड से तो वो हमेशा ना एक चीज बोलता था डैट समे समे मतलब कि एक दिन मैं आपको हराऊंगा इस गेम में ही वेंट आउट फॉर फुटबॉल इन हाई स्कूल नाउ वेन ही वॉज इन हाई स्कूल ही वेंट आउट टू लर्न हाउ टू प्ले फुटबॉल ही सरप्राइज इवन हिमसेल्फ नाउ देर वॉज सो मच मोर ऑफ हिम सो ही नेवर न्यू दैट ही वॉज केपेबल ऑफ डूइंग सो मच मोर देन ही ऑलरेडी डिड सो ही वॉज अ वेरी गुड फुटबॉल प्लेयर एंड ही हैड अ वेरी मस्कुलर एंड वेरी बिग बॉडी and he could look down on his mother little one he called her and he he grew up very tall so wo apni mummy ko dekhta tha niche and usko aise na chidata tha apni mummy ko little one aise ki aap to choti ho height mein aise karke chidata tha sometimes it he took he took her wrist and backed her into a chair uske haath pakad ke na apni mummy ko kheech ke chair pe bitha deta tha while he laughed and she scolded wo hasta tha and uski mummy usko gussa karti thi i'll take you across my knee Who will he demanded? तो उसकी मम्मी कहती थी कि मैं तेरे को तेरे नीच से पकड़ के धक्का मार सकती हूँ सो so, uh, वो कहता है कि कौन कर सकता है ऐसा यू डो नॉट हैव इनफ स्ट्रेंथ टू टेक मी बाई माई नी ऐसे बोलता है 
well your father still can she said to uh, she takes pride in the fact that her husband uh, is a very you know big and very strong man to kehti hai ki abhi tere papa zarur tere ko hara sakte hain his father well that was different they still wrestled occasionally but it distressed his mother wo kabhi kabhi abhi bhi wrestle karte the but because uh, the child he was a grown up boy and he was actually growing he was in a growing phase he was getting stronger than his father and his father basically he was becoming an old man now see so he was losing his strength so uski mummy bahut hamesha chinta karti rehti thi she hovered about them worrying unable to comprehend the need for this struggling to wo nahi chahti thi that they would now wrestle because uh, she knew that her husband was now in the phase where he is getting old and he is losing his strength whereas his uh, her son was actually uh, growing in a was growing getting into a phase where he was getting stronger day by day it always ended the same way with the boy upon his back prostrate and his father grinning down at him now ab jab bhi wo wrestle karte the na to hamesha uska jo beta tha wo jo ye jo beta hai wo hamesha niche hota tha aur uska father hamesha upar hota tha so even now uske papa hamesha jeette the and wo bolte the ki do you give up do you give up give ka matlab hai haar gaya na accept karke tu haar gaya and wo hamesha bolta tha ki ha haar gaya give and he got up shaking his head to uska beta abhi bhi hamesha haarta tha i wish you wouldn't his mother say fretting there's no point in it you'll hurt yourself don't do it anymore to ab na uski wife kehti hai us bande ki wife kehti hai that uh, i wish that ab tum ye game na khelo because this is getting too much and you're getting old so i don't want that uh, aap apni health ko de- deteriorate karo is chakkar mein so for nearly a year they had not wrestled for nearly one year they had stopped this game they had stopped wrestling but he thought about it one night at dinner but jo beta tha na he uh, he thought about it he thought about wrestling one night at dinner he looked at his father closely ek bar apne papa ke paas gaya bahut dhyan se dekha it was queer but his father didn't look nearly as tall or broad shouldered as he used to same hi tha sab kuch but uske papa abhi bhi अभी उतने टॉल या उतने ब्रॉड शोल्डर्ड इतने ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग इतने ज्यादा स्ट्रेंथ वाले नहीं लग रहे थे जैसे पहले लगते थे ही कुड इवन लुक हिज फादर ही कुडेंट इवन लुक ही कुड इवन लुक हिज फादर स्ट्रेट इन द आईज नाउ सो नाउ द चाइल्ड he had become a man and he had the courage to face his father to uh, see his father right into his eyes to look the father right into his eyes how much do you weigh dad yeah so apne papa se poochta hai ki aapka weight kitna hai papa His father threw him a mid glance about the same around a uh, uh, hundred and ninety why hundred and ninety kgs ni hundred and ninety lbs ki baat ho rahi hai so uh, the boy grinned just wondering boy kehta hai ki I am just wondering that apka weight kitna hai but after a while he went over to his father where he sat reading the paper so his father was uh, reading the newspaper and the boy went to his father. and uh, you know took the newspaper out of his hand his father glanced up uske papa usko bahut aise dekhte hain gusse mein dekhte hain ki kya hai ye his father at first questioning and then narrowing to meet the challenge in his sons so he did not say a word the, but the father understood uh, what the child was trying to say even through his eyes so uh, he said softly come on dad to ab this means that jo bachcha tha he was trying to uh, challenge his uh, father uh, for a wrestling game His father took off his coat and began to unbutton his shirt. अपना कोट उतारते हैं अपनी शर्ट को अनबटन कर देते हैं यू आस फॉर इट ही सेट तो अब वो कहता है कि तू अब जो उसके फादर है ना वो उसको कहते हैं कि अब तू रोयो मत बाद में कि तू हार गया बिकॉज यू आस फॉर द डिफीट His mother came in from the kitchen alarmed. उसकी मम्मी शॉक हो गई कि अभी तक एक साल से दे डन यूज टू प्ले एनी काइंड ऑफ रेसलिंग बट नाउ दे बैक एट इट अगेन सो शी से चार्ल्स बिल चार्ल्स है फादर and bill hai son don't you'll hurt yourself but they paid no attention to her they were standing now with their shirts off they watched each other intent and pers- uh, pur- pur- purposeful bahut dhyan se dekhte hain ek dusre ko ki ek dusre ko harana hai us wale way mein the boys teeth gleamed uske teeth shine mar rahe the they sir circ- jaise uh, when we uh, wrestle ek uh, एक सर्कल बनता है एंड यू नो अपने हाथ को आगे जाकर लेकर लेके जाके फिर उसके बाद एक सर्कल के अंदर घूम के एंड देन आप गेम शुरू करते हो दिस सर्कल फॉर अ मोमेंट एंड देन देयर हैंड्स क्लोज्ड अपॉन ईच अदर्स आर्म्स दे स्ट्रेंड अगेंस्ट ईच अदर एंड देन द बॉय वेंट डाउन टेकिंग टेकिंग हिज फादर विद हिम तो उसने अपने पापा को भी नीचे गिरा दिया दे मूवड एंड रिट एंड टर्न साइलेंस टेकिंग एडवांटेज इन साइलेंस प्रेसिंग टू इट्स टू इट्स कंक्लूजन सो 
रिट का मतलब होता है मूव बाय टर्निंग एंड ट्विस्टिंग तो वो खेलते रहते हैं अभी मतलब एक दूसरे को धक्का मार रहा है कोई कभी नीचे कोई कभी नीचे है वॉज द साउंड ऑफ थम्स ऑफ देयर बॉडीज अपॉन द रग एंड आवाज आ रही है कि वो जो मैट है उस पर उनकी बॉडीज गिर रही है एंड ऑफ द क्विक हार्ड एंड टेक ऑफ ब्रेथ एंड जस्ट बिकॉज दे आर प्लेइंग अ गेम विथ सो मच प्रेशर दैट दे आर गेटिंग ब्रेथलेस तो बॉय शोर इज फीत ओकेजनली इन अ ग्रिमेस ऑफ पेन तो उस जो बेटा है ना जो बच्चा था वो बार बार ऐसे ऐसे करता है बिकॉज ही इज इन पेन जब वो नीचे गिरता है हिज मदर स्टूड एट वन साइड बोथ हैंड्स प्रेस्ड अगेंस्ट द ईयर्स उसकी मम्मी अपने कान बंद करके खड़ी हुई है ओकेजनली हर मूव हर लिप्स मूव बट शी डिड नॉट मेक अ साउंड Uh, she tried to say something but she didn't uh, utter a sound she didn't utter a word after a while the boy pinned his father on his back after some time this was the very first time or the very first time that um, the boy almost defeated his father usko uske papa niche hote hain give he demanded wo uske papa wo kehta hai apne papa ko ki give up kar do his father said no and with a great effort he pushed the boy off and the struggle began again Ap- apni peet se us ladke ko hatate hain apne bacche ko and phir se ladne lagte hain by but at the end his father lay prostrate and a look of bewilderment came into his eyes uh, ek bilkul confused wala look aa jata hai because his, uh, his father matlab jo aadmi hai he does not have any more strength to fight his own son itni jaan nahi bachi hai he struggled uh, he struggled desperately against his own his son's restraining hands सो अपने सन के रिस्ट्रेनिंग हैंड्स के अगेंस्ट वो स्ट्रगल करते हैं फाइनली ही ले क्वाइट ओनली हिज चेस्ट हीविंग हिज ब्रेथ कमिंग लाउडली वो लेटे होते हैं और उसकी जो चेस्ट है उसके फादर की चेस्ट है वो बहुत ज़्यादा फास्ट फास्ट वो करिए बाउंस करिए एंड पाउंड करिए एंड जो ब्रेथ है वो बहुत ज़्यादा तेज बाहर आ रही है द बॉय सेट गिव द मैन फ्राउंड शेकिंग इज एड एंड जो अभी उनका बेटा है वो कहता है कि गिव अप कर दो बट वो कहते हैं कि नहीं आई विल नॉट गिव अप Uh, all at once his father began to laugh silently his shoulders shaking now uh, because uh, the son is sitting on his father's back so the father he he does not have enough strength now so uske shoulders shake karne lag jate hain the boy felt his mother's finger t- uh, tugging fiercely at his shoulders to ab jo uski mummy hai uske apne apne husband ko utha rahi hoti hai let him up she said let him up usko unko uthao ab bas bahut ho gaya the boy looked down at his father give up तो अब वो अभी भी पूछते हैं कि डू यू गिव अप हिज फादर स्टॉप लाफिंग ओके ही सेड आई गिव तो उसके पापा कहते हैं कि हाँ ठीक है आई गिव अप द बॉय स्टूड अप एंड रीच अ हैंड टू हिज फादर टू हेल्प हिम अप बट हिज मदर वॉज बिफोर हिम सो द बॉय ट्राइड कि अपने पापा को उठाए बट उसकी मम्मी ऑलरेडी उसके पापा को हेल्प कर देती है पुटिंग एन आम अबाउट हिज फादर शोल्डर हेल्पिंग हिम टू राइज दिस स्टूड टूगेदर एंड लुक दैट हिम सो नाउ ऑल दीज थ्री पीपल दे आर स्टैंडिंग टूगेदर एंड दे लुकिंग एट ईच अदर हिज फादर ग्रीनिंग गेम ली हिज मदर विद बैफिल्ड पेन इन हिज आईज इन हर आईज सो जो फादर है वो तो एक सेंस ऑफ डिफीट है एक स्माइल कर रहे हैं बिकॉज ही गॉट डिफीटेड बाई हिज ओन सन बट द मदर शी हैज अ लॉट ऑफ पेन एंड स्ट्रेस इन हर आईज बिकॉज शी नोज दैट her husband is not uh, she he does not possess, possess as much strength as he had before and that he is uh, getting old and that uh, his body is giving up so he might not have a lot of years to live now the boy started to laugh i guess i he stopped dad i didn't hurt you did i so now the son asked ki aapko lagi to nahi matlab we were playing we, we were just playing around so i hope you i didn't hurt you in any manner oh no i'm all right next time सो उसके बाद वो कहते हैं कि नेक्स्ट टाइम आई विल डिफीट यू सो वो कहता है या मे बी नेक्स्ट टाइम एंड इज मदर डिड एंड इज मदर डिड नॉट कॉन्ट्रोडेक्ट कॉन्ट्रोडिक्ट वॉट दे सेड अब नेक्स्ट टाइम अगर ये होता तो उसकी मम्मी उसको खेलने ही नहीं देती ना लड़ने ही नहीं देती नेक्स्ट टाइम बट हर मदर बट इज मदर न्यू दैट दे वॉज नॉट गोइंग टू बी अ नेक्स्ट टाइम दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू रेस्ट अगेन बिकॉज हिज फादर इज नॉट एज यंग एज एम एंड हिज फादर इज गिविंग अप ऑन हिज ओन बॉडी slowly and slowly uh, as well as they, uh, as they uh, that they would never be a next time for a moment the three of them stood looking at each other and, so, and then suddenly blindly the boy turned now uh, they were standing in a circle and they, the three of them were looking at each other and then the boy turned around and he left he ran through the door under which he had ducked so many times jis door ke niche se uh, uske papa usko apni shoulders pe bitha ke leke jate the khelte the wo usi uh, door ke niche se bahut jaldi bhag ke gaya uh, when he had ridden on his father's shoulders he went out of the kitchen door behind which he had hidden jis kitchen door ke bah- piche wo roz chhupta tha and uske papa aake pakadte the waiting to leap out and pounce upon his father's legs 
इट वॉज डार्क आउटसाइड जब वो बाहर गया वहाँ पे डार्क था बिकॉज इट वॉज नाइट टाइम ही स्टूड ऑन दी स्टेप्स फीलिंग द एयर cool against the sweaty body because they had wrestled so his body was quite sweaty so uh, the cool air was uh, coming against his sweaty body and uh, now he was feeling at ease but uh, he stood with his head lifted looking at the stars so he is now looking at the stars and he could not see them because of the tears that burned his eyes and ran down his cheeks so now when he was looking at the stars he could not see the stars clearly everything was hazy because of the tears that uh, emerged in his eyes because he knew that his father was getting old and that that he might lose his father any time so i hope you understood the chapter i hope you understand the, uh, understand the importance of your parents in your life and how old age will eventually dawn upon everyone in their lives so always enjoy with your parents always respect them and always love them now uh, which one of the following words is correctly spelled it is comprehend which part of the given sentence has an error if the sentence is free from error mark no error The boy go out for football in high school. The boy go nahi hai. Boy went out. Past tense. Which of the following words means the same as determined, purposeful? Now, who moved the piano? A piano across the room. His father. What difference the boy noticed in his father and his mother's hand? His uh, mother's hand was white and slim and uh, delicate and gentle, while the father's hand was square and strong and large. He saw the dash in their hands as they rested. Difference. he saw the difference in their hands now his mother guided his father in positioning the piano true make a, a sentence of your own on gleaming uh my mother's eyes were gleaming when i saw her uh, in the room that day now uh, who moved the chairs back his mother the, they wrestled on the dash together on the rug together Whose uh, long legs thrust before the boy? The father's. Be careful, Charles. Don't hurt him. Who said to whom? Uh, the boy's mother said said to the uh, to to the boy's father. Make a sentence of your own on resentful. Um, Mina was resentful about the fact that the new teacher did not listen to her queries. Now, uh, whose hand was white and slim and delicate? Mother. Where did the boy learn how to wrestle and shout and how to uh, hold back tears uh, on the playground? When did the boy went out for football in high school? Who took off the coat and began to unbutton his shirt? Father. As uh, the boy grew, he learned to play football. The boy measured his biceps with his mother's measure tape. The boy showed his dash occasionally, uh, his teeth occasionally in a grimace of pain. The father struggled desperately against the son, his son's restraining hand. Restraining. Now, uh, true or false? No one in the world was as strong as or as wise as as the boy's father. True. Uh, the mother put her great thumb into the no father. For nearly two years, they had not wrestled, but the boy thought about it one night at dinner for nearly one year. The boy could not see the stars because of the tears in his eyes. True. Now, uh, answer the following questions: How does a young buck measure his strength? Why do you uh, think the boy is compared to a buck? Uh, because of the young buck's horn, uh, he is compared to a buck because he was growing and he was, you know, he wanted to come into combat with every other new buck or every other new child. So uh, that is why he is compared to a young buck. And uh, yeah. So next, uh, what did the boy mean when he say uh, when he said that someday, that someday he would be able to uh, win uh, in the game of wrestling and uh, his father would lose against him. The mother wants her husband not to hurt her son. How does her concern change later? So the mother continue, uh, continually warned her husband to you know not hurt uh, her son while they were wrestling. But uh, one day when they uh, they wrestled after an year, the father did not have or own that much strength to fight against uh, his own son. So the concern changed as uh, she knew that he was getting old and he did not have uh, as much power as he earlier had. He surprised even himself. Now there was so much more of him. Uh, so uh, he surprised even himself when when he went into the school and he was a very bright child. He was uh, into football and he was into sports. He was uh, masculine and he uh, was muscular. So um, that was the time when he felt that there was a lot of more 
to him uh, than only being a normal child do you feel the cub is an effective title give a reason i feel that the cub, cub is an effective uh, title because uh, the cub is um, the child of a lion so now uh, the father here he was the hero he was the uh, the person who was worshipped all childhood and the the child he was uh, you know very much attached to his father so he was the cub because the cub is always attached to his uh, father and um, the father is always the hero so i guess the cub is a right title i hope you all understood the chapter i hope you all understood the importance of your parents in your life and you keep understanding that because uh, you should love them and respect them no matter what so happy learning goodbye take care